Hi students, I hope you are doing well. So yesterday we had gone through about the Inices rocks. Today we'll start with sedimentary rocks. Start with the sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks. So what is sedimentary rocks? Uh, the very older rocks. You know, it's because of the old rocks, big rocks. It used to what? The older rocks, it's make the tiny fragments, the small, small pieces. The small, small pieces, right? It becomes the small, small pieces. And at that time, winds, right? And rains. Winds and rains, it's flow to that small, 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 tiny fragment, small, small rocks deep inside the sea, lakes and rivers. That small, small rocks used to go depth of the sea, right? Small, small pieces and it becomes the layer. One layer, two layer, three layers. It becomes the layers. That layers is called the sediments. Right? And when we become layers, sediment, layers, 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 the upper layers, it's pressed to the lower layers. The upper layer pressed to the lower layers and used to, the lower layer used to break. Right? Used to break in the small, very small pieces. That is called sedimentary rocks. That is called sedimentary rocks. Right? Sometimes you know the, uh, the inside the sea or big ocean. What happened though? You know, many sea animals, sea who are staying inside depth of the sea, the long, long years back, right? What happened? Those the 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 the, the big animals that stay inside the what depth of the sea, and sometimes the rocks used to press them. And now suppose you take a saw. And you, you you just what you take a key key you press like this you press like this on the saw then what happen that key it will press on the saw yes or no suppose you take the ink on your thumb and you press here like this then your thumb will be here angutha right like this the all the that long long years back the all the all the big big animals were staying inside those that soils you know inside the deep of the, the you know sea they used to press in the rocks and what happened those rocks become the fossils those rocks are called the fossils those rocks are called the fossils right then we'll talk about now the types of sedimentary rocks so the types of sedimentary rocks. So one is sandstone, one is sandstone, one is the sandstone, second one is the limestone, limestone, then shell, third one is the shell, then fourth one is the what? The fourth one is the conglomerates. 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 So we divided the sedimentary rocks into four parts: sandstones, limestones, shale, and conglomerates. So what is sandstone? What is first we discussed? What is Sandstone. We'll discuss about what is sandstone. Sandstone is formed when grains uh, grains of sand gets compressed and, and cemented together. It consists mostly of a minerals called quartz. Sandstone is commonly used in construction buildings. So this stands, uh, you know, sandstone generally used in the construction building when you're making the big big buildings. The red fort is made of the red sandstone. So red fort. If you you know know that uh, New Delhi that red fort is there, Lalgila. So that red fort is made by the sandstone, made by the sandstone, right? Then you talk about the limestone, you talk about the limestone. Limestone mainly consists of a mineral called the calcite. So this limestone made by a what? Made by the what? A mineral, it is called the calcite. It's called the calcite. It's made by the calcite. 
and calcite you know it's came from the calcium calcite is formed from the cells and skeletons of tiny sea animals tiny cell inside of sea animals by the skeletons of the sea animals it when they used to die it become the what calcites when these animals die their shells are and skeletons settled on the seabed so many you know animals you know sea animals when they used to die they used to go depth down of the sea and this become the calcite right then if you talk about the chalk you know a teacher used to write by the chalk the chalk also made by the what made by the limestone you no know? that chalk is made by the limestone right then written uh, that limestone used to make cement and bricks so question is what is the use of the limestone so if you want you know that is the cement or bricks cement or bricks used to made by the limestone then we'll talk about the shell we'll talk about the shell so what is shell shell is formed when when layers of clay and silt harden it is smooth and mostly used to make cement tiles and bricks for the talking about the cement tiles and bricks we need the shells cement tiles and bricks we need the shell we need the shell right then conglomerates it looks like pebbles cemented together with minerals they are formed when the lower layers of sediments consists of pebbles and sands it's consist of pebbles and sands right so this is all about the sedimentary rocks next we'll discuss about the we'll discuss about the metamorphic rocks we'll discuss about the metamorphic rocks right metamorphic rocks are ro the rocks that have gone through some changes they were originally uh, sedimentary or igneous rocks deep inside the earth so it's the, the the metamorphic rocks usually it's made by the sedimentary and igneous rock deep inside the earth the, the temperature and pressures cause change into their minerals the changes there appear the appears and made them tougher and harder so generally it's made by the igneous and sedimentary rocks and after that we we'll discuss about the types of metamorphic rocks the next class will discuss about the types of metamorphic rocks thank you so much